Welcome back everybody. It is time for another package unboxing. Today I have two packages that just came in the mail, both of which were from overseas. In fact, this one came from our other resident GoGo -Go YouTuber. I like GoGo -Go Crazy Bones. Go check him out and subscribe to his channel. He does a lot of unboxings and openings as well. Well, he got me the hookup in this package, but we're going to go into that in a second. He was actually able to find a really cool product that came all the way from Israel and then got all the way shipped to him and then it got all the way shipped to me. But he gave me a nice little hook up and cut me in on the deal that he found so I appreciate it and thank you very much and this one actually has some really nice loose crazy bones that I've personally been looking for quite a little bit to actually add to my collection so I'm very excited to open this one so let's not waste any time and let's get into these packages and see what we got today boom there we go the double of packages we got the small one we're gonna save that one for the end we're gonna open up the boxy first here all right I think I got it is this how you open this box oh my gosh Oh, tough one to open. Okay, there we go. All right, the first things first, I already see it right here. This is the deal that he hooked me up on that he got all the way from Israel. If you're a fan of I Like Ogos Crazy Bones or you've already seen his channel, you probably know what this is. We've got this box right here of Foot Go Go's. This is incredible. Look at just how awesome this is. We got one kind of sticking through the box a little bit, but a full box of the awesome soccer or foot Go Go's Crazy Bones. Again, this is all the way from Israel. He found a bunch of them from a seller and he hooked up a bunch of people in the community with boxes that wanted one. Of course, as a person who loves my sealed products and full boxes of things, this was uh, definitely something I wanted to get my hands on. I do have some of the foot series. They're really cool. I actually am a big fan of the molds of these guys and there's some really nice golds and stuff. Now, I don't believe you can find them in this series, but you could also find like fusion ones that were like color changing, but I don't believe that was in this region. Yeah, you can't find them in this region, but in other regions, they had some really cool ones too. But nonetheless, look at these guys. I mean, I love, I love that guy. He's one of my favorites. Of course, you know, we got the classic gold soccer ball on fire super cool he's already done a couple openings on the channel of these boxes from when he got his in so it was really cool to see those go check out those videos too i'm just leaving a bunch of you know links here for you guys to make sure you go sub to him because i really appreciate him hooking me up with this so go show your thanks over there as well but that means i'm super stoked to open this box which means we are going to be doing a box cracking booster cracking of these go go's crazy bones the foot series that is going to be happening very very soon like i want to say within the next week or two i'm going to film this and get it up on the channel for you guys because i'm i'm dying to open this one up and of course the box is going to go on the wall it's going to look really nice in this really cool green can we kind of open up the box a little bit we kind of can there's all the packs look at that we'll, we'll go into these a little bit nicer in the actual opening video but a bunch of packs in there all right let's slide this over he also hooked me up with a couple more things let's pull those out Oh yes, we've got more casino packs from Mega Trip. Oh boy, he hooked me up with a bunch of these bad boys. I've opened a few of these on the channel from my last trade with him actually as well. He gave me some extremes and a few of these casinos. Well, he got some more and he uh, sold me some more of these as well because there are some excellent glitters to be found, some jelly glitters, some really cool ones. And yeah, it's really nice. So I'll probably make this uh, its own video as well. Just do a quick little opening thing with the packs I've got. So it'll be kind of like a shorter, quicker video. But that is really cool. I'm so glad he hooked me up with these. A bunch of them too, which is nice. So stay tuned for these. That being said, I'm gonna cut in here and remind you guys, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that video. That opening, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I've got a ton of other GoGo -Go stuff planned for the future of the channel alongside some toy reviews like Glios and card openings like Pokemon and Force of Will you name it. So if that's the kind of stuff you're into, you're going to want to make sure to hit the sub, turn on the notifications so you don't miss an upload. Okay. He said that he sent me some other stuff and they were actually, uh, they snuck into the foot box. So let's grab those. Oh my goodness. All right. I got to pull some of these out. I was like wondering, cause the box was empty. I was like, what, what happened to the other things that he said he sent? We've got some of these guys. I believe these are bungees. I want to say, or no, no, no. What are, what are these? The Cobots. Oh, the Cobots. Very nice. Yes. Hey, these guys look pretty slick. I kind of like them. Now I think I've already told him that I can't invest in uh, GoBots or CoBots at this time, but these are really cool. And I'll gladly add them to the little personal collection of 
things that maybe I will look at to collect in the future, possibly. But these guys are pretty sick looking. I love the look of that dude. He's like a little chicken ninja. I don't know. He reminds me of like a surfboarder, but he's got these like frisbee Tron discs going on on his head. I wonder how they click into place. I don't know the whole system with Cobots or anything like that. So I'll have to do some more research on them. Very nice. And what is this? We got a guitar pick. What? Oh, a is this actually a guitar pick or is this, oh, is this a flick thing? You actually flick them? This is a Cobot's like flicking mechanism, I guess. Is that how these work? Smack them on the side or something? I'm really not sure. All right, but let's check out some of these other ones in here. Look at this guy. He's a little roughed up, but I don't, I don't believe I have this one. And I got to remember what exactly he's from. I believe this is from the Olympics. I know this guy is. Let me pull this guy out. I don't have all the Olympic go-go's memorized, but I know this guy is. I think his name is like Gohan or something, Gohan or something like that, I want to say, but he uh, showed me this one. I said, please let me have him because whenever I see him, I'm in love. He's just like this big old fat goober dude and he looks awesome. So a nice kind of like glitter jelly as well. From the Olympic series, Olympic stuff is very hard to get because uh, it's pretty much only in Israel, I believe, where you could actually find those guys. So they're pretty incredibly difficult to find and pick up. Uh, this would be like yeah, this would be like one of my first ones, I, I believe. I don't have very many. If I do, I only have like one or two or something like that. So the Ollie series though, that would be something to get my hands on. You know, nice sealed packs of those. Incredibly hard to get though. So I really appreciate him giving me a couple of these. That's super cool. All right, I guess I have to take out more packs just to see if there's anything else in here, but it doesn't look like it. So I'm gonna put these all back in the box. Okay, I did a pretty crappy job of putting those away, but I'll, uh, I'll get it sorted and all nice and neat later. Let's move on to this package. I'll slide my Go-Go Mountain out to put some guys on. Okay, let's get into this one if we can. Should be pretty easy. Wah! There we go. All nice and packaged up neat. Some very, very cool mega figures in here, or macro, uh, I believe as some of them are called, but I like to just call them megas. Okay. Oh, boy. My goodness, these are hard to take out, but we got it. So just to stay on theme with some of the Mega Trips, since we got some casinos over here, we got one of these Mega Trip Mega Boys here. This is a really cool one. Again, a first for me in the collection. I've been eyeing trying to find a Mega Trip Mega, as I guess you could say. Uh, this one is in the original packaging, but it is open, unfortunately. But that's all right because I kind of want him out to begin with. So. There he is, just a simple gray one, nothing too crazy, but there we go. We got PPI Worldwide Group, and look at him. He is a big sucker, very similar to the Captain Crunch Go-Go's or like the McDonald's ones kind of, although I would say this is, um, it's made differently than the Crazy Bones uh, McDonald's ones. This is more like the Captain Crunch Boys, but a very cool figure. We even got the Mega Go-Go's checklist. So we got Flo, we got a bunch of other ones in here as well, like Ray and Trimo, 2C and whatever you want to call it. Is that 2C? I don't even know, but very, very cool. Let's get this one out here. Oh my goodness. This is a really cool one. Check this out. Oh, you know, for as many Crazy Bones as I've gotten and as many classic series ones as I've gotten, I have yet to find like a really good, clean tie dye figure, but this is what they look like. Oh my goodness. Look at that. We got a reggae here in a beautiful green and blue tie dye. Just amazing. The photo I got of this one just does not do it justice. It looks incredible just in the camera and off the camera. It is so, so, so sick. I mean, come on, look at that. That's incredible. I absolutely love that. A beautiful tie dye go-go. That is sick. Again, like I have not come across these personally in my own openings and my own just buying of lots and things. So this is pretty, pretty nice to have one of these guys. And then we should have a couple zany brainy figures here from the zany brainy toys promotionals. We've actually got a glow in the dark eggy with the soccer ball and a glow in the dark Jaws with the soccer ball. Let's pop these bad boys out. So here is the Jaws. It is a clean figure too. Sometimes they look a little derpy, I guess you could say, but that is a clean looking Jaws. Very, very nice. Very nice stamping. It's got the little thumb press thing going on right there and the Jaws, the teeth look super clean, honestly. That's that's fantastic. Let's get the Eggy out. Now, you know, recently in another lot, I ended up getting one of the Zany Brainy figures, the Brainy, Brainy Zack figure. And this is one of the other ones that they included in part of their promotionals at the store giveaway. So this one's really cool. It's the Eggman himself, Eggy, with the soccer ball, soccer Eggy, 
looking clean as well. Really, honestly, every time I see pictures of these guys, they look derpy as heck and not that clean, but these are actually pretty darn clean and nicely kept. So that is, that is perfect. And then we've got these bad boys. We've got the Mega Aliens, Mega Bone Aliens. I didn't even know these existed uh, <laughs> when I first started getting back into collecting. And when I found out they did, I was just like, no freaking way. So look at this guy. Again, that good size, a good kind of Captain Crunch size, very similarly made, as well as the Mega Trip one, kind of similar, but these are the old school guys. These are the old school alien, I believe, like I said, some of these guys called macros or something, but I just call them megas. They're, they're, mega, they're mega bones, they're mega bones. Mega alien bones, and this one looks fantastic. I mean, come on, these guys are in great shape. And we've got more of them. We ended up getting uh, a good number, five. We got five over here, right? Yeah, five of these guys. We got the surfboard one. Look, <laughs> looking so goofy. Is that actually a hollowed out part? We have a Whistler Macro Mega Alien. That's fantastic, but he looks pretty great too. Got that big, big stamp on the back. Again, clean, clean. A nice pink one of this one too. These didn't come with like a, a paint job on their eyes, unfortunately. They just came kind of plain as is, but still very cool. I'm sure you can already see it, but yeah, we got one of these glow in the dark ones as well. And it's one of the bad aliens, the monster aliens. Can we get like some more correct lighting here so you can see it? Kind of have to like block it out a little bit so you can kind of get that detail going in there. Look at that. Kind of do that for a second. Hopefully that helps with some of the detail. It's a little bit tough. Maybe it doesn't do much. You can kind of see it a little bit, but yeah, off camera, it's pretty nice. It's pretty clean, but on camera, all those whites kind of fade into each other. Might have to edit the clip a little bit nicer so you guys can have a better look at all that detail, but a nice bad alien, a mega bad alien, and a glow in the dark at that, so excellent. All right, what do we got here? We have actually got, is this a jellyish one? It is, it's like a dark, dark green jelly, or no, it's just black. It looked, wow, the lighting confused the hell of me. No, it's just a black one. Again, another bad alien. Very cool. Look at the ears on this bad boy. It looks ridiculously awesome. I absolutely love it. You can you can pick up the detail on this one for sure. That looks great. He's got the derpiest of ears. That's so fantastic. I love the the look of these guys. They did an excellent job with the molds and like, you know, expanding the small ones out to bigger, bigger detailed sizes. They did a really good job. It's all there. It's so nice. You're going to blend into the mountain a little bit, aren't you? But we do have one more. Very excited about this one because the jellies in this set look absolutely phenomenal. It is another bad alien, which I think the bad aliens just, uh, or the monster aliens, just have a much more unique design. But check that out. We got the Cyclops man with his arms folded in that nice, ooh, kind of metallic y, semi opaque jelly blue looking super super sharp i mean come on very impressed by this one and i'm very glad to have these guys in the collection there is a certain number in the set so i would love to just get a full set of these guys at some point gonna be hard to do these are pretty freaking rare to find uh, i forget the whole story behind them i think there was a, they were region based so you can only get them in a certain region or country and that was it so when it's like that uh <laughs> it's hard to get your hands on, especially with these older Go-Go's. I mean, it's just crazy. So many like promotions in different regions and countries that just kind of went unnoticed until the community kind of brought it in and figured it all out and started spotting them as they collected. But this is just incredible piece of crazy bone history, I feel, and very lucky to have the start of the collection of these guys because they are, yeah, they're going to be hard to find. I've been looking for over a year since I found out that they made these and I have only seen like one other listing that had one of these bad boys and it like got sold pretty fast. So this is, this is awesome. That's it though. That's all the products I got in. I had to be very patient for these packages to arrive since they're both out of uh, the country. So it was cool to finally get these both in. They came in like right around the same time, which was awesome, which meant I get to open them both on the channel for you guys in one video. I didn't have to wait around. Very very excited for foot. Very excited to open those up. The casinos are going to be a blast too. So hopefully you guys are excited by these and you enjoy checking out some unique Go Go Crazy Bone products with some of the mega stuff and promotional stuff. Those are always a blast to get my hands on. Once again, stay tuned for more. Subscribe to the channel and I appreciate you watching all the way to the end. We will catch you guys in the next video.